What's up everybody? Today I'm working on the Toshiba drive. That drive actually was uh, featured in the video, one of the videos I did last week. And the reason why I want to reshoot this video is to, sh to show you that not every hard drive gets recovered on the first attempt. And the reason for that could be either there is a problem with one of the heads that was used from the donor, or maybe they were just not compatible enough with the patient's drive, or maybe there was a problem with the surfacing of the disk. And in order to confirm all of that, the head swap for the second time has to be done. So uh, what I got on that machine right there is a partial image. So the drive consists of four heads total, and I could read head zero, head two, and head three perfectly. But head one, no matter where I go, it reads very, very, very badly. And I can't really pinpoint whether it was an incompatible head or the head that was weak inside of the donor before I used it. So just to confirm uh, my thoughts, I got a second donor that is fully compatible, that tested and runs really well, that I'm going to apply heads from to the patient today, and hopefully that image will be uh, completed in those gaps that I can't read right now. This green map here belongs to head zero, but this map here belongs to head one. And if I scroll through the image, it's got these consistent gaps Head 2 also does act up a little bit every now and then, but mainly these gaps are very consistent along head 1, uh, like here for example. Head 1 again can't read, head 0 reads perfectly. A lot of people who are new to this channel or new to data recovery period ask me a lot about uh, this noise. When I'm in the work area, what's with that, what's with that noise, that background distorted noise? That noise, guys, is coming from the impellers above that push air through the HEPA filter into this box where I'm working right now and that's what keeps any type of like lint from falling down and settling on top of the surface of the disc. It's called a laminar flow bench and uh, it is generally really loud like it, I don't know what decibel level it's running at right now. Um, it doesn't show me, it shows me uh, uh, the air volume that is being pushed through the filter right now. but. Uh, that's what distorts that sound. If I turn it off, you hear it go away. But that means that the fans are not working and the air is not being purified inside of this cabinet here. So I'm going to turn it back on now and let it run for a little bit while I get this area prepared. I want to test uh, the condition of that head actually on the drive that it came out of. So I'm going to put that unit in here because that will help me to understand better the exact reason why that head is not working because I don't know if you guys remember but this unit I had run, ran it on the express test I don't know if I showed that in the video or not but express test didn't really seem abnormal to me so uh, it was surprising to see that the unit actually ran as bad as it did uh, in the patient so that will help to clear the doubts about the condition of head one if the head, if the head one inside of the original donor uh, shows that it, it is functional. Because if it is functional, that means uh, it's either incompatible head or something on disk of patient drive on head surface one is not, uh, is not good. gonna run express test for this and uh, see if, if the head one is struggling yeah it seems like it is struggling 
So in that case, there are two options. We either had a head that died during the imaging process because there was something on the disc and that made it damage uh, the donor headset, or the headset originally was weak and was kind of like already dying and moving it back and forth just forced it to kind of go earlier. Channel 2 turned on, power it up. The drive came out much, much quicker, much quicker. And um, <clears throat> head zero is currently disabled. Let me turn it back on. Um, it reads but it reads with, uh, I think, with the same type of response. Let's give it a try. I think the entire catalog was captured already. Yeah, it's a HFS partition. Okay, so I'm gonna build a map for it. This was an external drive out of a A data enclosure. Give it a quick look. Um, I'm going to build a sub map for all the unread sectors, sort them by length, and most likely they will end up being head one related. Well, guess what? Head one is reading, guys. Drop the ISO a little bit so you can see. Very nice. I only wish that I found that second donor before I used the first one, but that second donor really came to my hands uh, recently, and uh, what can you do? At least all of the data from head zero, two, and three was already backed up, and all I gotta do at this point is just image out head one, so by the end of the day, the case will be completely resolved, and the data will be ready for the transfer. Uh, thank you guys very much for tuning in again. Today is Monday. I got a couple of interesting things planned out, uh, on its way so as soon as that arrives you're gonna get something new uh, just not just like everyday type of cases but I'll show you some of the things that I do to improve the um, effectiveness of the lab things that I do to make my life easier when I'm working with cases so this is kind of stuff that I want to start implementing into this channel so stay tuned for that thank you very much for the support we uh, are officially one week and one day in this uh, daily pulse challenge that I'm currently doing for myself. Uh, I thank you very much for all of your support. You've been nothing but awesome. And uh, I don't know, like if I, if, it, if I wasn't as motivated from all your comments, I probably would have given up a few days back. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow around the same time as usual. If you have any questions regarding hard drive recovery, if you want to partner up and send some work this way, always check out the description box. There's a link down there. You can click and submit your request. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow.